Welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to uh, add and subtract some positive and negative numbers. So the first thing we need to understand about, at least when we're dealing with subtraction, is that subtraction is not cumulative, meaning we can't subtract one number, like we can't say 5 minus 3 is the same thing as 3 minus 5, like we can say 3 plus 5 is the same thing as 5 plus 3. Did I lose you? Let me go ahead and write it down. We know that 5 plus 3 is equal to 8, and 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. But 5 minus 3 is equal to 2, and 3 minus 5 is equal to negative 2. So here, order doesn't matter, but for subtraction, it does matter. So I'm just going to make sure, I'm, to, make, to be safe, I'm just going to do all my operations from left to right. Uh, the next thing I want to go through with you is to understand that when we're dealing with negative numbers, 5 minus 4, that's the same thing as 5 plus a negative 4. So now that I've wrote a subtraction problem as 5 plus a negative 4, now I've wrote it as addition, I can actually rearrange them so it equals negative 4 plus 5. See, it's helpful. You can't write 4 minus 5. But what I can do is I can change it to an addition problem, then I can change the terms. It's okay, I didn't change the work. 5 minus 4 equals 1. 5 plus a negative 4 equals 1. Negative 4 plus 5 equals 1. So it's just really important for you to understand you can work like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a negative 33 and add it to a 34. So it's kind of like this, negative 33 plus a positive 34 is really 34 plus a negative 33, which is really 33 minus 34, or 34 minus 33, which we know is going to equal 1. Then I have minus a negative 47. And the way that I always like to deal with you know, negatives is whenever you have a double negative, that's going to turn positive. And the reason being is, you know, if you say out loud, I don't not love math, well, the don't and the not is the same thing, so you're crossing those, they're kind of canceling each other out, and therefore, you love math. Um, so 1 minus a negative 47 is what we call a double negative. So therefore, um, what I can do, and the other way to think about this is, let's say you want to make this an addition problem. So what would you do? You'd make it a plus. So you change it to a plus, and then the opposite of that sign, which would be a negative, 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 would make it a positive. So it would be plus 47, which equals 48. And that's going to be your final answer for that solution. Thanks.